Hi guys, so I decided to do a fun little video. I was sent a challenge from my friend to do a dick contour. <laughs> you heard me right, yes, it is a dick contour. So I did it in the basic areas. Wow, this sounds so bad. I don't really know how I'm gonna get around this. So I drew in the basic areas for highlight and contour. I started with the ones on my cheeks because they're gonna be the deepest ones in the hollows. And as you see, yes, I drew it as autonomically correct as possible. It's so gross. I can't believe I did this. Okay, okay, okay. I even put them on my forehead. Now this one on my nose was the trickiest one ever. I could not stop laughing. It was like the worst thing ever. I still can't stop laughing about it, but it actually made a really decent contour. It's a little dark in the beginning because I went a little heavy on accident because I guess I couldn't control my, oh my gosh, I can't with this one. I couldn't control the brush very well on my nose. Um, but yeah, it turned out okay. Uh, I used for the contour MAC, Honor, I think it is. I don't know. I broke it to a million pieces as you saw. And for the highlight, I used LA Girl in Fawn. Yes, in Fawn and Orange Corrector. Two of my favorites ever. Yep. Sploop, 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 sploop. Yes, I made that noise in my mind, but not in real life. I mean, at this point, I was so frustrated with everything going on. I had no idea how to contour out a bunch of dicks on my face. So I just rubbed it and hoped for the best. And honestly, like as horrible as it looks, uh, it really turns out really quite amazing. I was very shocked that a <clears throat> dick contour could look that good. <laughs> But seriously, the one on the nose gave me the most problems on the face of the earth. And if I could have done it over again and I wasn't in a hurry, I probably wouldn't have went so hard with the lines. Crap. So more, more blending, 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 blending. And I mean, really honestly, as you can see, it really turned out really great. I couldn't even believe how great it looked. I think that, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna dick contour every day. No, I'm not. So right now I'm setting all my highlighted areas with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It is so amazing. I love it so much. Uh, I put it in areas I put it because that's where I tend to get oily and it needs a little help with uh, discoloration. Uh, you don't have to put it there, uh, but for me it hurts really well. Uh, I'm ex obsessed with this uh, True Complexion Contour Palette from uh, Black Radiance. It was the best purchase I made all year. And yes, I kept the sticker on. It was only $7.99. Look at those hollows, girls. Look at those hollows.
favorite part. It's like the reveal. It smooths and cleans everything off. I'm just using a plain old like Target Sonia cushion mix. I don't know what it's called, uh, brush to dust off the excess. I did spray it with a little Fix Plus that you didn't see off camera uh, just to smooth it out and help it blend because, as you saw, there were a bunch of dicks on my face. Uh, oh, and I love this uh, cheek color. It's it's like a cheek color bronzing veil from Kevin Coin, and it's Tropic Nights Cool Bronze. Now, I don't really know what this is, so I'm so sorry I can't tell you, but it's like a personal mix of just every highlighting powder I've probably ever had in life in a small container that I had like pounded and ground into this very fine mist. And I use that to highlight with my jumbo fan brush. I don't really know where you get that fan brush from. I think it's Makeup Forever, but it's insane. I love the highlight, and, and uh, as you can see, I'm surprised by it. Wow. <laughs> Now, because the highlight gets a little intense because I put a little too much gold in it, I press it out with a little bit of the translucent Laura Mercier powder and my wet beauty blender sponge. I don't know what I did before a beauty blender. I guess I was massacring my face. I don't know, but I love it. I live for it. And there it is, end result of the Dick Contour Challenge. Thanks for the challenge, Liz. Uh, as you can see, it turned out just fine. Have a good night. Bye, lovelies.